Hi everyone, so we're going to continue with a discussion about general versus specific conditions in if statements. Alright, so here's an example right here. So what we've got here is an if else if statement where the most general condition has been placed first. So this is a, again a, a marking kind of question where we're looking at the grade point average of a student and we have a one, two, three, four part if else statement okay or, or structure and so the very first test that happens is to see if the student's GPA is greater than or equal to 2.5 and if that's the case then the student will receive a graduate with variable that has a value of pass in it which is fantastic the next condition right here is if the GPA is greater than or equal to 3.5 then the student will get this uh, value of credit if the student's GPA is above 4, then the student gets a distinction. If uh, the student's GPA is above 4.5, then the student gets a high distinction, which is really good, right? So, so a student that gets a really high mark will get a high distinction on their transcript, which is fantastic. Now, unfortunately, this program will not award a high distinction to a GPA that is equivalent to 4.8. And the reason for this is that if the, the GPA is 4.8, then we get to this first if right here, okay? This first if right here, we look, we ask ourselves, is GPA greater than or equal to 2.5? It's 4.8, so absolutely, so the student passes. As soon as that happens, then this has been tested and executed, but because of the way if, else if works, this right here will be ignored, that will be skipped, that will be ignored and skipped as well, okay? So none of this, will be examined. It basically says, okay, this is good. Now we're going to go past it. All right. So this is a problem. So how do we fix this? We always want to sort the branching conditions such that the more specific conditions are checked before. So that is above the more general conditions. So you want the first test of your if um, to be very specific at the front on the top, then a little bit less specific, a little bit even more, so then more, le more, <laughs> more, less specific, and so on and so forth. So up here, this is very specific, and down here, it's very general. All right. So the way we would restructure it is we would do something like this. So we would say if GPA is greater than or equal to 4.5, which is the most specific condition, we do that first. Okay. It's the most narrow. It's the most uh, uh, exclusive condition. Okay. So this will be anybody that's got 4.8 or 4.7 will get their high distinction. If they're not that top student, then we'll check to see if they're the next most top kind of student. Then they'll get a distinction. And then we'll go further than that, okay? So we're going to get more general down here, okay? And this is how you set up if-else statements. Always going with the most specific at the top and the most general, especially since we're going to deal with the default condition down here, down at the bottom. And there you have it.